My name is Alex Glazer with Cobalt Banker Vaughn and Company Realtors. Thank you so much for joining me here today. So I'd like to start off this month's update with a big announcement. Uh, unless you've been you know, part of the real estate world, you may not have heard this, but one of the biggest changes real estate has ever seen in terms of how closings are handled is actually right upon, right around the corner, uh, coming here at the beginning of October 2015. The Consumer Financial Protection Bureau is set up for a whole set of new laws and rules and regulations in terms of how things are handled and timelines. So the short of that, what does that mean to you know, the average person who's thinking about buying or selling is closings are going to take longer. Uh, you know, we normally could do a closing with a loan, you know, 30 days, no problem. Uh, they're telling us to expect and plan for 45 to 60 day closings after if your house goes under contract or if you purchase a house and that contract is accepted after uh, the beginning of October. I think it's October 1st. So not a whole lot that we can really do is just going to be in a big adjustment period. Hopefully, you know, once everyone starts getting used to all the new rules and the way everything's handled, closings will start getting a little bit quicker. I don't know if they'll ever hit 30 days again, but uh, hopefully it doesn't mean everything's going to be, you know, 45, 60 days from here on out. So and after October 1st, I'll give you little updates on how things are looking, but just something to be aware of. So jumping into seeing what's happening here in Richmond over the last month, uh, taking a look at July's numbers, in July, at the end of the month, we had 3,992 homes for sale, which is a little bit less than what was for sale at the end of June, but still we've just been hovering around that 4,000 mark for most of this year. Uh, compared to last July, we had a little bit over 4,600 homes for sale, so we're still about 600 less, which is a lot of homes less for sale, which is definitely good for the real estate market. And then what actually went under contract in July, we had 1,454. And the significance of that is this is actually the first month in over, or first July in over six years that July is actually outsold June. Uh, looking at the historical trends, usually at June, things start tapering off a little bit. You know, not a lot, but you know, usually month after month sales go down a tiny bit, not in July. So actually we had a handful more sales uh, in July of this year versus uh, June of this year. Um, moving on to what August is looking, shaping up to be. Uh, as of today here, I think we have five days left in August. Uh, there was 4,065 homes for sale. So again, just hovering right around that 4,000 mark. And as of today, we've had 1,121 homes go under contract. And at that pace, we're looking to probably do a little over 1,300 for the month of August. And then again, looking back to last year, had over 4,600 homes for sale and only about 1,100 go under contract. So again, month after month, 2015 is being better than 2014. Uh, looking at interest rates, they actually haven't really been raising as much as we had expected. Uh, depending on the type of loan and your credit score, uh, you know, it's right around 4% still. So a lot of really good factors in play for the real estate market as a whole. Uh, if you have any questions about this information or any real estate question at all, just feel free to give me a call or an email here at the information at the bottom. Again, my name is Alex with Cobalt Banker, and I really do appreciate you taking the time for, for you to get your Richmond real estate update, and I'll see you next month.